Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to create a layout for your GPU overlay controller. I'll go over all the normal and special button features so you'll know how to create a button better suited for your games. I'm going to assume that you already have all four premium features, but if you don't, please understand there will be limitations, but you still should be able to follow along. So, this is GPU overlay, and this is where you create your game pads. This is the create tab, right? And this is um, what we're going to create. So to create a game, to create a layout, to create a game pad, you click on more. And this creates a button in the top left corner. This button can be moved, but only when it's selected. Only when it's selected can you move it. And you select it by simply tapping on it. It can be scaled by selecting it. So it turns a color. And then you change the distance. You do the pinch field. Um, the pinch gesture. That's how you scale it. Now, to create a keybind, you click and hold, and then you click on enter keybind, and then in this case, we're going to do space. So when I click on this button, it will click space for me. Now, the way keybinds are set up in this app is you can type out the word. So let's say you want, I don't know, the letter P. You can do P. Or if you want a space, you can put sp space. But SP is also space. And the space bar is also space. So whatever key you want to use, shift, you can use the, the extended form or the shortened form. And it still should be able to recognize it. You can also use X input. And the X inputs are shown here. So this is the layout for all the X inputs. Type in these and you should be able to make your keybind associated with that. Now, the reason it didn't save was because I didn't click save. By clicking save now, whenever I come back here, it will be what I want. So I can go back in the controller keybinds and then I can come back in the create. And as you can see, it's there. So that's how you make a normal space button. Another thing you can do is use modifiers so the first modifier you can use is the and modifier so if i do space but what if i want to go forward or go forward and jump by only clicking one button you simply put in this and and then let's say our up button our forward button is w so when i click this button with n native play I will click it and I will jump and move forward at the same time. So that's one thing that you can do. And we're going to head and click save again. Now, there are other buttons, other types of buttons you can use that have different functions. These are special buttons. You can get these special buttons by shaking a normal button. So I shook it and this is a sticky button. A sticky button will hold down whatever key you put down until you click it again. It works exactly like a caps lock. So let's say I want to shift in Minecraft. I want to crouch. So I can just type in shift. And when I click it once, it will shift. I can release. And then I have to click it again for it to unshift. And the modifier still works. So and still works. The next modifier, you shake it once, shake it twice. This is the cycle button. The cycle button will go through a list of keybinds. So this is especially useful for if you have a hot bar and don't want to have eight or nine inventory items and a button for each. You can use one button and put a colon in between. So let's say you have four inventory slots. You click it once, it will click one. You click it again, it will click two. You click again, it will click three. You click again, it clicks four, and then it goes back. So then next time it's one. This is very, very useful. And um, this will not work with and you'll get some really funky, weird behavior. So you cannot use the and modifier on this particular button. The next special button, shake it once, twice, three times, and you get this rhombus or diamond shape. This is our joy button. This button will allow you to kind of emulate a joystick a little bit. So there's two ways to use this button. First thing you can do is type in the keys that correspond with the direction. So let's say you want to move up, 
W is up, A is left, S, D, right? So in that order. So up, left, down, right. W, A, S, D. And it goes counterclockwise. Um, so what this will allow me to do is when I click it and then move upwards, it will hold down W for me. I can go down, it will hold S for me. And I can go in any direction, and it'll go to the corresponding key. Within settings, within settings, you can put this joystick key merging, and that will allow it to click two buttons at once. So if you go up and then a bit to the left, it will hold down both W and A. And that can be used for, obviously, walking and stuff. Another way you can use it is by typing in one of if we go down to controller key binds this XRJ that's the right um, joystick or the left joystick and typing in this one function will emulate a uh, Xbox joystick but this only works on the joy button and another way you can use it is by typing in mouse just the word mouse and that will apply a joystick to your mouse. So that's that. And there is one more type of button. And this one's a bit hidden. So you have to shake this one twice to get our cycle button. Make another button. One, two, three. And now you have a joy button. Put this joy button on top of the cycle button and click. And all of a sudden, a scroll button appears and a scroll button is a lot like the cycle button in that it cycles through uh, key binds but with this particular one you can control it you have more control over it because you can scroll so you click it once and you can scroll to the left or you can scroll to the right and it will change in correspondence and um, you set it up the same exact way with the co colons and with these three buttons, with the scroll button, joy button, and the cycle button, the AND modifier will not work as expected. But this is how you create, with these five buttons, you should be able to create any controller you can imagine, right? Anything you could possibly need, and make sure to click save. So that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And happy gaming.